Hi everybody, we're back. We're Arna and Carlos. As always, and welcome to our YouTube channel. We bring you episodes every single week, uh, and today we have a little tutorial for you. But before we start with the tutorial, Arna, I just want to tell people that if you are not a subscriber and you would like to receive weekly uh, tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoy the episode, remember to give it a big, a big thumbs up after you see the episode. So, okay, so let's start with our tutorial this yeah, week. What, we, what is it about? Today we will talk about the caston and what's written in a lot of English written pa pattern. It says be careful not to twist the stitches when you join the the needles or yes. something when you start knitting because we know that like the first time we saw it it was in the English written pattern because you don't find this in Norwegian patterns mm -hmm. but now we also start to write when we translate our patterns we, we always write be careful not to yeah. twist the stitches but I've never seen it before but, yeah. but it's, it's like if you if you twist your stitches once you learn so you don't want to twist them and anymore. we're going to show you how you can accidentally twist your stitches and what to do when that happens. Because when you do your ribbing, and especially on circular, this short one is kind of easier, but if you have a very long circular, it's so easy to make a twist like this on the, on the stitches and you don't see it. And then mm. when you start knitting, you think you have a problem. But you don't have a problem because you will when you do your first round with knit and purl you will see it that it's twisted and then you can fix it you don't have to unwrap everything or you don't have to knit as much as this before you see it because then it will look like something like this which is not good so you will see that is really bad yeah so anyway, while you cast on, how many stitches are you casting like on, by the way? Like 64 maybe or so you're, you're, you're something. Ca you're casting on for a hat? For a hat. Ah, cool. So you cast on the stitches and then when everything is cast on, you'll show us, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then you can talk a little bit because I don't know if I can count and... No, talk I'll talk a little bit time. while you cast on your 64 <laughs> stitches. Uh, let's see, what are we going to talk about? Uh, we can talk, talk about the yarn. Yeah, this is a good yarn. Uh, we're doing a few... We've done a few classes live like in America and UK and we've been using this really good yarn from Rowan which is called Cocoon it's 80% uh, uh, no it's 80% wool and it's 20% mohair uh, the nice thing about the wool is the lightness the mohair is a little bit hairy as you can see and it's also very soft and very nice but it's a great yarn to work with to teach uh, people uh, color work because uh, it's it's very easy to work no, so, I can talk. And it's because it's so easy to work with, uh, it's actually very easy for Arne to show you. Because now I'm ready. Oh, good. You see, now I have my stitches and on, on the short circle like this, it's easy to see that the stitches are lying the perfect way. So you have the knit side towards you. So on this one it's easy. But the problem is if, if it's twisted like this, on, especially as I said, on a very tall, long mm. circular is Sometimes you miss it. Hmm. So let's see that you missed it and you start knitting your rib. So okay. I'll do two knit and two purl. So let's do this fast forward because... You need to knit a whole round. I had knit one round. It's not a long round. It's just 64 stitches, but still it's a round. Yeah. So. So now I'm almost finished with the round and now I can see I have a problem. See, it's, I made a twist. So then what I do is I just knit until the last stitch and then I show you the magic. Ah, oh, there's magic going on here. <laughs> it's, we always it's love all, it it's magic. Very, it's a very simple magic. Yeah, but it's good, you know. Put Don't a be bit disappointed of magic. if it's too simple. But a lot of people actually they unwrap everything and they start over again because oh. it's twisted. But see, that little twist is just one time. So just go like that. Oh, the yarn got in the way. I think you need to show that again. And you're finished. It makes no difference if you if you do it like that. And it's finished. 
if if it's say if it's wrapped two times around like this oh it's so twisted oh help i have to unwrap it no you don't have to unwrap it you just go around and around and you fix it on the first round mm. but you can't do like a lot of rounds because then you have a problem yeah. that was one too many and voila it's finished and you start knitting again so is there any possibility you can show that again slowly <laughs> <laughs> okay, pretend now that oh, there's a, oh, it's a twist on the yarn. And you can do this uh, even if you have knit the two rounds. Yeah. On the third round, it starts to be a little bit too much because then it gets very tight. But you can do it for like one or two rounds. And you see, oh my god, it's twisted. Then you just go around like this. And, and you make done. a little twist on the knit instead of unwrapping. Yeah, that's a great idea. That is so simple. Mm. I think sometimes people unwrap, unwrap things very easily because they think it's the only way out. But actually, there's a lot you can do to fix your mistakes. This is one of the things. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can even cheat. We do that yeah. a lot. I mean, knitting is all about cheating. Especially like if you have a thinner needle and a thinner yarn and you have this twist from the cast on if, if it's two or three times it makes no difference and you have knitted one or two rounds you can still go around like this and unwrap it because you you get a little twist in between the stitches mm. but if it's only two or three rounds on a thin yarn it makes no difference you yeah. won't see it anyway anyway and you don't have to unwrap everything and make cast on again yeah because the cast on is always boring mm. So you see, another tip uh, to make your knitting life a little bit easier. Remember, you don't have to unravel. There's always <laughs> other solutions. You just have to find just the twist. right ones. So this is it for today. Uh, remember that we are uh, here every week on Sundays, 6 p.m. Central European time, 11 a.m. Central um, North American Central Time. And uh, yeah, until next time we see you, remember to subscribe and hit a big like on the video and see you around again in a week. And I'm glad you said it. Yes, I say it every time. You say it every time. Thank you for watching <laughs> Thank you. and see you again. <laughs> Bye. Bye.